<laughs> Peter Langman, uh, Maluka, how was it? Oh, mate, it was a pretty uh, pretty tough race, to be honest, a bit of everything in that one. Um, some really nice downwind sailing, some pretty gnarly upwind, some super fresh, scary downwind, big wave sailing in the Bass Strait, um, and then some light stuff down the coast of Tassie. Uh, pretty happy to get the result we got, to be honest. And you brought a bunch of mates with you as well? Yeah, a couple of punters with me. <laughs> they, they did pretty well, considering. Did they? Yeah, yeah, no, they went, they went really well. Um, Couple of them was their first time out the heads, so um, yeah, pretty pretty great experience for them. Not an introduction. Yeah, exactly. Only one way to do it, isn't it? Throw them in the deep end. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And not too much seasickness and things. Uh, a little bit on board, but nothing nothing over the top. Yeah. So uh, nothing we couldn't deal. We're involved with. in the rebuild of this space, is that right? Uh, the I'm a shipwright. The rebuild was a little bit before my before time. Was I was yeah, I was still in high school, so I was watching on with an eager eye. But yeah, I wasn't so much part of the rebuild. So um, must be kind of cool being involved in sort of building boats as well while you're actually sailing them yeah yeah for sure I mean at times it feels a little bit taxing it feels like your whole life's boats but uh, <laughs> no it's definitely rewarding to be in both sides of the industry I guess yeah and just tell us briefly the history of Maluka uh, so Maluka was built in 1932 she's 90 years old this year um, heavily restored in 2005 I'm pretty sure it was 2006 yeah. by my yeah. old man yeah. uh, sort of been in the family since then has done yeah. this is seven Sydney to Hobart yeah right um, and yeah, she lives down here in Tassie, and every few years we dust her off to do a Hobart race. <laughs> and just one last thing, what was your, what was the highlight for you in this race this oh, year? Definitely crossing the finish line. It was, um, you know, it was, the whole aim was always just to get here, just to make it in one piece. And then we came around Tasman, and I checked my phone and saw that we were in front by one minute in our division. So I thought, yeah. oh, we've got to start really taking this pretty seriously for the rest of it so the last you know six hours have been pretty stressful so to get here and uh, be finished and get the result yeah we're yeah. soaked division win that's pretty cool yeah, yeah. thanks so <laughs> much for your time thanks mate cheers thanks, appreciate it. Cheers. thank you well thanks,